Hey there, it's Jazz. If you are here, it's most likely because you are restricted in selling in the category of groceries. Well, if that's the case, in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to actually get unrestricted and be able to sell groceries when it comes to Amazon. On top of that, I will walk you through the process from finding the website, the distributor, and then from there finding a product, then being able to upload it on Amazon. And I will show you how to do all of that. That way, if you are interested, and getting ungated in a specific brand or just in the whole category of groceries, this video is for you. Now, not only am I gonna show you a distributor that you can actually use to get ungated when it comes to the category of groceries, but I will also give you a bonus hack if you stay until the end on how you can start selling specific brands when it comes to Amazon and how to get ungated in the whole process as well. Now, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if I end up bringing you any value. But most importantly, leave a comment down below. I would love to answer your questions through the comments or of course through another video and that way I can hopefully bring you value and with that being said let's get to the video now before we dive into the websites that you can use to actually get ungated in groceries I want to kind of explain why Amazon restricts many beginners selling specific brands and of course categories and why they make it so difficult in the beginning now there are multiple reasons why Amazon will restrict you in the beginning the first one is that you're a beginner and there's this thing called listing price right they say that I'm to go ahead and sell this on Amazon I'm gonna go ahead and sell this for a listing price of $20 then I make a profit of 10 but when you're an Amazon beginner you're gonna most likely want to win the buy box so what are you gonna do you're gonna most likely try to list this mug at a lower price and it's a snowball effect where many people start fighting for the lowest price and we end up not making any profits and as a professional Amazon seller, we don't like that. We end up not selling specific brand or a specific uh, cup and we end up moving on to a different areas because we don't want to play those games. So Amazon saw that to protect us as sellers especially since we had a long uh, relationship with Amazon, they tend to make it difficult for beginners to go in and change those good brands like Nike, Under Armour, because they don't want us to be fighting for who gets the lowest uh, price when we want to make profit at the end of the day. And the second reason why Amazon actually restricts sellers from selling anything they want in the beginning is because in the past, many sellers around 2016, 2017 were selling uh, fake brands. Like for example, Nike shoes, uh, Michael Jordan shoes, um, all that good jazz. So whenever people would receive those products, it would actually bring a bad reputation on Amazon. And Amazon is a customer centric company, right? So they don't care about you and I, they really like want that customer centric, uh, they, they really want their customers to trust Amazon and to use Amazon all the time. So that's why they allow returns. That's why if something is broken, they take liability for it and we don't end up paying anything for it. So just remember that in the beginning, you have to create that relationship with Amazon. So they know that they can trust you on selling products to their customers because we have the privilege of using their platform to sell products and make a living out of that. Now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go over the three ways you can actually get ungated. That way, if you want to get ungated for free in other areas and you don't want to pay for it, just know you can. And with that being said, let me break it down for you. The first one that is basically free is auto on restriction, meaning that you have the ability to get ungated naturally by actually selling a lot of products at one time, right? And none of us know exactly how many units we have to sell, what our gross sales are to get unrestricted in specific brands. But the one thing that you can do is if you want to start selling, for example, Starbucks mugs, um, most of the time beginners are actually restricted, but every once or twice a month, you can go ahead and scan through the Amazon seller, and then you're gonna see that you're gonna be restricted. You click on it, then it's gonna give you a option where it says request approval. You're gonna have two options, right? One, you either upload an invoice with 10 units of that product to be able to show that you are actually legit, or number two, uh, be able to just naturally get ungated. And the only way that can happen is if you're consistently doing volume of uh, units sold, 
Um, that's one of the things that I've, I've noticed as an Amazon seller is the more units you sell, not how much you sell, is what actually gets you ungated in many areas. The second way you can actually get ungated is using a third party to help you get ungated. But this is very pricey. For example, I've used Funnel Guru and I used it for Nike and I kind of regret it because now that I have the tools that I'm going to show you right now, um, I could have got ungated for a lower price. But if you are wanting to get ungated in three days or less, um, they basically just you give them permission to go into your account and it's only a third party permission. So you'll be protected. Um, they can't go through your settings or anything. They can't go through your personal information. They can only go to what you allow them to go into. And then from there, they just do their whole magic and there you get ungated. Um, I've used them and it's worked for me for Nike. Uh, they also offer like different categories, but like I said, it's very pricey. And what I'm about to show you right now, I wish I knew in the past because it would have saved me so much money because I did pay $2,000 to get on gated. So here is the magic and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this with my computer. And this is by using a distributor, right? Now, what exactly is a distributor? Because it is a fancy word. I like to think of distributors as like Costco or um, Sam's Club where you're going ahead and buying products in bulk. Like for example, if you want to buy cereal, you most likely will buy cereal in a bulk box or if you want to buy coffee, you're going to buy it in bulk instead of buying in little containers, right? That you buy at Walmart or Fry's or any supermarket that you go to. It's the same thing with the home um, Amazon setting. We go to distributors, which is like companies like Costco and Sam's Club, where we buy in bulk. And then from there, we go ahead and send it to the Amazon warehouse. Now, this is another option because when you are an Amazon seller, you can start off as RA, meaning retail arbitrage, going to stores, looking for products, then go to online arbitrage and then finding products from online and sending it to the warehouse or to your house. Then there's the wholesale, right? Um, finding distributors who can uh, sell you products like this for really low price and then you being able to resell it because you know this product sells. And then after that, it's actually private, right? Most people jump from, um, from zero to private, some do zero to wholesale. I was doing the whole process of basically RA, OA, and then wholesale, and hopefully can get to private. Now, I do want to be as honest as possible with you. When it comes to distributors, you have to show that you are a business. Distributors don't open up their doors to any person. They only open it up to people who have a sell certificate and an LLC or a business entity. And I'm gonna explain how to do that. Super simple, don't get overwhelmed. Um, all you gotta do is either find someone who can uh, create an LLC see for you that can range between a hundred to four hundred dollars depending on your state and who does it for you and then from there and then this is the cheapest thing you'll do it cost me twelve dollars which is to get your sales certificate to be able to open an account with distributors right when it comes to this all you have to go is to your uh, revenue for example i live in arizona so i had to go to the arizona's revenue and i went online and i called them actually and i told them hey i'm looking for a sales certificate which is called a tpt and they went through the whole process. That's why you need an LLC or a business entity because they're gonna ask for your TIN number, which is just basically your employer's number for your, your business. And when you do that, they actually walk you through the whole process. Um, just make sure that when you are talking to them, let them know that you are an Amazon seller and that you're doing e-commerce. Um, that way you can actually um, do all of this process the way it should be and they don't get anything messed up. And from there, it only cost me $12 to get that. Once you have these two things and a business entity, which is allows you to actually open a sell certificate. And of course, this is my experience is how I did it. You're actually able to open accounts with distributors because now you're a business. Now, before I do go ahead and show you specifically what website I use to get on gated when it comes to the category of groceries, I want to kind of explain one little side note that most Amazon sellers don't know, which is that if you get unrestricted in a category, like for example, you can start selling um, toys, right? You got unrestricted on selling toys and now the doors are open for you to start selling toys. The bad thing about this is that you have to go through the whole process again to specific brands, like for example, Lego. You can get ungated in toys and be able to sell toys, but you can't sell Lego until you get unrestricted on Lego. So the way you know which brands are restricted and you have to do the second step process again um, is you go to the website that I'm about to show you right now. Um, you, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link down in the description. That way you can go ahead and click it. But as you see on this website, it basically shows you 
which Amazon brands you are restricted in and which categories you need approval for. And right here, you can go ahead and educate yourself uh, from here. If you ever want to sell, like for example, Lego, everything is organized through name brand. So if you want to look for Lego, we're going to go ahead and look for L. And as you can see right here, it is restricted from us selling. Leaf Frog is restricted. And that's another toy right there. Even when it comes to groceries, you are going to be restricted in the brand of Kellogg's, right? So uh, just realize that you can sell products in that category, but you have to go through the process again when it comes to selling specific brands. So if you stick until the end of the video, I will show you how to do that as well. Now that I've been able to walk you through the whole process and why we are restricted and all that good jazz, I can go ahead and show you how to do this through this distributor. All you need is to prove to them that you are a business entity and that you're a business and that is basically it. And then from there, you're actually able to do this. So with that being said, let's go to my screen and show you step by step on how to do this. Okay, so the website that I will use to get ungated when it comes to the category of groceries is called Price Master Corporation. Just pricemaster.com. I will leave it down in the description for you. And as you can see, there are different categories right here, right? So before you even do anything, you want to go ahead and click to re register. Um, that will allow you to actually go ahead and start looking at the prices and be able to get ungated when it comes to groceries. I wouldn't even look at what they sell. I would just try to make that um, account because it does take them a while for them to accept you. So then that makes the ball rolling and then you don't have to wait for it. But we're going to go ahead and shop by category, right? They have different things that they actually um, um, allow us to get ungated on. So they have batteries. Uh, OTC medicines, so that's a category right there, right? Um, OTC medicines that are like over-the-counter medicines is basically what it means. Uh, you can do home and auto products. That's another category that you can get ungated on. Um, you can even do food products, which is what I'm going to show you right now on how to get ungated when it comes to groceries. So what I would do after they accept you um, getting ungated, um, once they accept you on creating your account with Price Master, I would go ahead and go to Candy. And the reason why this works is because Candy is basically in the category of groceries. Um, and a beginner, you have no history. So this is basically the safest thing you can do. But if it doesn't work for you for whatever reason, if Amazon changes some things, which I haven't heard of, it's worked on my friends that I've helped um, in the past. So if you have any problem i will go ahead and uh, make another video trying to find another distributor for you but this is the safest best i this is the safest thing this is by far what's worked for me so hopefully it's going to work for you so from here what you want to do is kill uh two birds with one stone right we're going to go ahead and do get it ungated in groceries but we're also going to get ungated in a specific brand that is very popular when it comes to amazon which is i don't know how to say it uh Haribo, Haribo, they're like gummy worms. This one right here. So as you can see, I don't know if you recognize them, but they're very popular. They're around like less than 5,000 when it comes to sales rank because they're so popular. So what you wanna do to be able to know if this is something that you can use is you gotta be able to find the specific product on Amazon's website because you're gonna want to uh, request approval, which I'm gonna show you right now, right? Before you buy this, you gotta make sure that you can um, get unrestricted on this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and copy the title of this and you're gonna go to Amazon. And then from here, you just go ahead and um, search it. As you can see, here is a specific brand uh, that you wanna get ungated on, right? And we wanna make sure that it's matching exactly what uh, this distributor is actually providing for us. It says five ounces for 12 bags. And as you can see right here, it's a five ounce bag, pack of 12. Um, and you can see right here, you wanna make sure in the picture that it says net weight five ounces, um, make sure everything is the same. And then we go ahead and go to uh, the distributor right here to make sure if everything is the same. And you can see everything is the same. They just have the watermark on it, this is Price Master. Um, from there, you're gonna, you can't really see right here, but I can kind of see it, which is, $13 per case and each case has six so or $1.79 each so all you really need from this is you just need uh, 10 uh, 
10 units of these. So if you want to use this one specifically, um, all you need to buy are 10, but you have to be able to go through the distributor um, and see their limit. And, and like, for example, when I did it with my friend, you had, I think you had to order like around like 30 or 40 units. Um, so what he did was he got ungated in the category of groceries, right? So we go here shop by category. He got ungated in food, right, which is groceries, OTC medicine, and home and auto. So he was able to buy different products. And the thing is, you want to kill uh, two birds with one stone. So you want to find a product that is in that category, but also has a specific brand that is restricted. And like I showed you in the website, you can go ahead and do that um, by searching up what is restricted and what isn't. And then from there, once you realize this is basically the um, uh, product that does match what Price Master is giving you, um, once you order it and you receive your product, um, you want to uh, get that invoice from the Price Master, right? Most of the time, Price Master will send you the product because they're a distributor with an invoice inside. But once you receive it and there's no invoice, you can easily call them and say, hey, um, can you please send me an invoice uh, via email, right? And then also make sure that they have their name of the company, their address, your name and the address that you use on your Amazon seller account because that's what's going to help you or that's just exactly what Amazon is asking for when it comes to getting ungated in any brand or category. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to be using my friend's um, Amazon account because he is ungated when it comes to uh, groceries and um, gummy bears, this specific brand. So I can go ahead and show you how it looks when you're trying to get unrestricted and use the invoice once you go through this whole process. So once you're here on your Amazon seller account, you're gonna get into your home page. This is in my account, so I can't really show you like the specific details, um, but you're gonna go ahead up here with this catalog at the top left and it says add products, right? You're gonna go ahead and click that, which will lead you to this specific page, right? And it says add the product name, UPC code, e ISBN or the ASIN number. You can do that or you can just go to the Amazon website itself. And if you don't have um, the software that I use or any software at all, if you scroll down to where it says right here, let me see, that's the reviews. I need the product details right here. The product details where you see right here, I'm going to zoom, zoom in so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You know how it says ASIN? When, it, when you look for the product details, just scroll down. You're going to look for ASIN number and you're just going to go ahead and just copy this. This will make it more easier for you to find the specific product uh, that matches what you're going to buy with Prime Price Master, right? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to search it. And as you can see, it popped up right here, right? You're going to go ahead and see that the sales rank is 1,255. That means this is selling like hot pockets, super uh, profitable right there if you're able to make some profit. Um, and if you ever want to make sure in the future if this is the same product, you see how it gives you a link right there? It'll pull up the same page right here. This is basically what we already have pulled up. So this is specifically what we want, right? So we're gonna go ahead and click apply to sell. And from here, you're gonna see how it automatically opened a new URL for us, a new uh, page. So it says selling application. You need approval to sell this brand in grocery and gourmet foods category in new condition. So this can't be open, right? So, however, we are not accepting application to sell in other gourmet categories in used, refurbished, collectible conditions, meaning <laughs> you can't sell products in food and groceries if they're open, right? No one wants to receive the open gummy bears. I wouldn't want to receive, what if you drugged my gummy bears? <laughs> so once you do that, right, you want to go ahead and click request approval. And you're doing this whole process once you've received, uh, oh wow, he got approved without even uh, having to, this is insane. <laughs> he basically got approved without even me having to go through the whole process of uh, clicking in an invoice. This is insane. Well, here is an example of getting auto ungated where he was selling products and then Amazon realized that, you know what, we're gonna give him a chance. And he naturally got ungated. And this was the whole purpose for me to use this account. So then I can show you guys how to do this. Oh man. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and find another product. Um, but let me go ahead and see if I can find another product that he is 
um, not gonna get approved by. <laughs> um, but most of the time, they're gonna ask you to um, plug in the invoice, like scan the invoice. You can do that if you have an iPhone and you don't have a scan um, app. What you do is you go on your iPhone, you go through your notes, you open a new note page, right? And then it's gonna have a little uh, icon of a camera. Right there, you can go ahead and click it and it's gonna come up with uh, take a photo or scan documents, which is super simple if you have the document with the uh, product that you bought. You can just scan it, send that note to your computer, make it a PDF, and you're good to go. So apparently he has the opportunity to actually send Sell through the category of groceries so I know that he's a beginner and I know he can't sell Star Wars yet because he hasn't even doing, been doing this for even three months yet so what I did look up is Star Wars Outer Rim and I'm just using this as an example and you can use this in the grocery I did the same thing right I looked at the product that was matching the distributor right and we're gonna go ahead and go down and find the ASIN which is right here right you copy and then you're gonna go back to the website you go here and then you just paste it, you search it up and you wanna make sure it's the same product and you're gonna go ahead and click apply to sell. Now I made sure that he can't sell this because he's a beginner so there's no way he's gonna sell, be able to sell Star Wars without doing an invoice. So as you can see, it's the same process, right? It's the same process for anything that you're trying to get ungated on. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and click request approval and here you go, this is exactly what I was looking for. No matter what you're trying to get ungated on, it's the same process. Um, as you can see, this is the selling application for brand. You are requesting approval to sell and it's gonna list the Fantasy Flight Games brand items, right? Um, not Star Wars, but that specific brand. So you wanna make sure if you wanna get ungated in a specific brand, you wanna make sure it's, it's showing you there that's the brand you're gonna get ungated. So right here it says, submit documents, right? You can either at least one purchase invoice for products from a manufacturer or distributor. That just means that you need at least 10 units of a specific product. So if I was selling this as Star Wars, um, I need to buy 10 of these and prove to them that I bought it through an invoice. So if we go ahead and click this, it's gonna show us that what we need is you need this invoice to be 180 days um, new right since you've done this you want to include your name your address and the matching information from your amazon seller application or your account excuse me and then you want to also include the name and the address of the manufacturer or distributor so whenever you get the invoice make sure it has price master with their address and their phone number and then from there show the combined purchase of at least 10 units so if you want to start selling mugs you have to buy one one that looks like this, 10 of them, right? You need 10 of these. Um, and then from there, you can show the price um, information, how much it costs you. I will leave the price in there because it proves that you've purchased it. And then from there, um, you can go ahead and note uh, if you have any like any other stuff that they can actually use to contact them, like their fax number. But pretty much uh, distributors put all of that information on invoices, so you don't have to worry about that. Now you do, is once you take a picture or you scan the item, um, or if you get it through uh, email, which is perfect because they're gonna send it through a PDF version, you just go ahead and click here and then you upload it like a regular other document. Um, and then from there, you can go ahead and leave comments. You can leave right here like, um, thank you for, you wanna be nice. Thank you for taking the time to go through this um, submission. Um, I have uploaded this invoice with 10 units with a specific like, and then just name the brand. Just leave like little comments. You don't want to be harsh or anything because sometimes it is automated, but sometimes like actual um, employees are going through the whole process of getting you engaged. So you want to be nice and kind of motivate them to do that. And the other option that you have is getting a letter from the actual brand saying that you have the ability to sell this product. And the way I will look at this is if you are selling a small company's brand, right? Like um, let's say that you are a hiker and they made shoes and it's a small business, but it's a brand, right? So they have like uh, copyright, their license, trademark, and all that good jazz. Um, you can go ahead and upload that as well if you talk to the company. Um, and right here, it's the same thing, right? You wanna be able to have this, um, um, document within 180 days you want to include their name and address matching your seller account and then you can go ahead and show this letter with the brand name approving it and all that good jazz right 
So that, that basically gets you on gated in this uh, specific brand. And you can go ahead right here, right? They also, prov you wanna provide uh, your email address and of course like your phone number in case they have any questions. I've never had anyone call me or the people I've helped. So um, they just really need to look at your invoice. There have been times where people do get rejected through their invoices, but it's because they don't provide that address. You know how, like, for example, my name is Jasmine Bautista, and I have the address from my um, a seller account. Sometimes if the invoice doesn't have that, like your information and their information on the invoice, they will most likely like reject you, right? So you want to have all of that that they're requiring on your invoice. And if you buy it from any distributor, you do have like you, you do have the way to say, hey, can I just have that information? Because they should provide that to you, right? Um, there's no way they, they shouldn't, like it's, they're supposed to. Um, so hopefully I was able to provide you some value with that. And that is pretty much how you get ungated in the category of groceries and food and all that good jazz. Now, I wanted to give you a little bonus um, on how to get ungated when it comes to uh, groceries or a specific brand. Like, let's say you want to get ungated when it comes to Kellogg's. Say that you want to start selling Fruit Loops, right? So what you're going to do is um, you just go on Google and you literally look up um, distributor, uh, Kellogg's, uh, Fruit Loops, and then from there you're going to either have different websites that sell that, or um, those websites are actually third parties, and then from there you can find other distributors. So if you wanna sell a specific brand, you can just find a website that sells that specific brand that you're looking for, and then just buy it from there. But the thing is that the way you can actually get uh, the loophole through this website uh, option is to call the website and say, hey, um, I'm about to purchase this. If I purchase this, will you guys be able to provide an invoice for me? If they say yes, which they most likely will, but it's something that most people receive receipts, you know, like a copy of your purchase, but most websites will allow you to, um, they will send you the invoice, but there's some exceptions. They will say, hey, we will send you the invoice, you can call us back, but once you receive your product, and then from there, you, you can agree with that, right? I would go ahead and, and purchase it, then give them a call after you receive it. And then from there, you can actually uh, start selling this product. That's how many people of my friends uh, got ungated when it came, when it came to uh, Nike and Under Armour and Adidas and Puma, which I will be showing you in the next video. So uh, I will be showing you how to get ungated in those brands using a website coming up. Uh, and hopefully I was able to bring you some value today. Now, with that being said, if I ended up bringing you any value, please hit the like button. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for more financial videos, more Amazon videos. Leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you want to watch next. But most importantly, over all of that, is to always be someone that makes you happy.